What up guys and girls, you know it's Marty back here with another review. Anyway guys, you know I was talking to you about those Fuds Covered Twinkies I got, you know, at Grocery Outlet and everything. So here they are guys, we got the Fuds Covered Twinkies and you know I was able to get someone to review them with me, you know, uh, it's not Kenneth, it's not Terry, you know who it is? It's Ryan! It's me! He's back with another review because the people, they love their, themselves some Ryan, especially my Aunt Barbara, you know, <laughs> uh, she, hey by the way, she's single. I'm, I'm all right. You all right? You all right, though? I'm good. I'm You're good. good? I'm... All right. Well, sorry, Barbara. We, we tried. We tried, Barbara. <laughs> anyway, like I said, guys, we got this at like, grocery outlet. We got them for a buck ninety nine. And I've personally never seen Fuds Covered Trinkets before. Have you seen Fuds Covered Trinkets before? No, I have not. Never. Yeah. They look good. Yeah, they expire on the 30th, so. Oh, oh this is interesting. Look. So on the box itself, it says expire the 29th. Grocery outlet, the 30th. So what are you doing, grocery outlet? Ooh. That's a little shady. A little shady. See, but they're Twinkies, though. Like, we all, like, we yeah. all know somebody's had Twinkie under their bed for, like, three years and still ate it. <laughs> yeah. Twinkies, they never expire. Just check out that movie, Zombieland. Exactly. Know? Anyway, guys, so, the Nutrition Factory, hopefully they're in focus this time. You know, people were complaining about that uh, when I did the review with Terry. You know, hopefully it's in focus for you. You see them? Nutrition Facts. So, I'll tell you, so it's 230 calories, 25 grams of sugar, 50% of it is sugar, but they got one gram of protein, so I don't know about that, but anyways, we're gonna crack them open. We're gonna see how they taste Because first impressions of fudge covered Twinkies should called, be good. They're called the Chocodile. Oh, they're called the Chocodile? I didn't yeah. even see You guys even see that? Ryan just pointed that out. It says on the front. Too. Oh, it says on the front too? Right, right, right there. The Chocodile. Oh dang, oh dang, you know. The Chocodile. You know, the old HR lady yeah, they used to work for us. She's living in Florida, and I bet she's uh, has tons of crocodiles around. But anyway, there's one for you, Ryan. Alligators, alligators. Oh, alligators. Alligators. Alligators, crocodiles. You know, uh, crocodile hunter. What have you? What have you? <laughs> I guess so. What? Uh, crocodile hunter. You got a tiger king. It's all, all the same thing. Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> so the guys, it just looks like a like a a Turd. big. Uh, I was I was gonna say uh, uh, Babe Ruth bar. Oh. Eh, but, close enough. <laughs> but yeah, close enough. You know. So anyway, I uh, give it a taste. Oh yeah, got it. These are really good. I really like these. I mean, I didn't think they were gonna be bad because you can't really go wrong with you know a Twinkie and the covering in a chocolate. Yeah, like Terry says, there's no such thing as a bad donut. But if you guys like Twinkie and you like chocolate. What's well, not like, you know, I'm gonna give it a boom bam boom bam boom bam for first sure, ever sir. First ever sir. Because chocolate just makes everything better. Oh yeah. No, Ex especially dark chocolate. So if this was dark chocolate, it'd have been even better, but you know, it's what it is. So apparently, have you had chocolate covered gummy bears before? Oh I have. I guess those are a thing. And so I was all thinking about because I've never had them before. I was talking with my friends, and he was all telling me about how like like it's like a milk chocolate cover in them. I feel like those would be really good in dark chocolate because it's like they would be too sweet if it was like milk chocolate. Yeah, I used to get them all the time when I when I'd go see a, a movie uh, back up in uh in in the gorge, but it's a rarity to see a movie nowadays because you know Rona and everything. But I don't know where do you know where you could get chocolate covered gummy bears? No, because I know you we definitely can't find them at at any grocery stores around here because you know. Probably the best bet would be that grocery outlet because, you know, they always carry a varied uh, variety of things. I was just going to say that. Or probably, like, there's probably some small little specialty shops somewhere. Yeah. Maybe on Amazon, you know. Amazon, for sure. You can find all kinds of cool things on Amazon. Oh, yeah, Ryan. I heard you got yourself a new product from Amazon. Oh, yeah. So, they're called Kill Cliff. They're uh, Kill Cliff Ignite. So, they uh, make energy drinks and then they have CBD drinks. So, this is one of the energy drinks. Um... This is so it's not Joe Rogan's brand, but it's a brand that he like heavily sponsors. Um, it's uh, their official partner of the Navy SEAL Foundation. It's basically like an energy drink that has like it's like cleaner for you. It's no sugar, B vitamins, naturally flavored, 100, 150 milligrams of clean caffeine. Um, they're pretty good. I got a whole like 12 pack of them. I was gonna give Marty one to do like an actual review on. Um, the flavor that I have today is called Smashing Citrus. But there's a whole whole bunch of flavors that I have. So that's good. It's, it's made in America. It's supported the veterans. Is that right? Yep. Supporting yep. the military. Yep. 
Yeah, your brother's in the military too. He so. is. He was in the army, and now he's in the national guard. That's that's good. You know, he probably gets a whole lot of those for free or something. <laughs> you know, because military people. You I feel know. like that's what I should have did before Amazon. I was asking him, "Hey, uh, do you know the guy that makes these?" <laughs> yeah, it's, he's like, it's like, oh, I could probably get in her. You know, uh, what, what do they call them? Uh, the, the corporal to get some or something. Anyway, guys, so that's what they got. All we got to talk about for you today. You know, hopefully you enjoyed the review of the fudge covered Twinkies. You know, let's try to get a picture in there. You know, with this with the special guest, you know, Ryan and everything. So anyway, guys, just make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know, take care of yourself. Be kind to one. You know, keep spreading those good vibes only. And by the way, guys, if you ever want to mail me something, and I'll do a review about it. You know, it's P.O. Box 1221, Newport, Oregon, 97365. All right, guys. Till next time, Martin Ryan out. Peace.